the secret in the old goofy attic. <laughs> her face was red with fever, and her dark hair tousled, tussled. Oh, I hate that word. Oh, oh, she wailed. What am I getting my... I guess that man wasn't in here after all, Ed Eddie said. <laughs> no, not Eddie. This lovely dress must have been... Must have been must have. Surely you see what happened? Shirley was uh, attacked by a skeleton <laughs> and stopped calling her Shirley. I am afraid there will be another scene when she come here to get her gown. It is not finished. <laughs> How? The secretary explained the rudiments of the making of synthetic clock. Cloth. Cloth. The, s the secret of the synthetic clock. Mr. Draw drew, drew, uh, dropped. Where in the world have you been, Nancy? George remonstrated, remonstrated. I still don't remember how that said. It might prove to be a good evidence in case of a lawsuit. I can't read. Placing all the glassware in a box, she started for the storeway. Stairway. I, I for, uh, what? Then Nancy, Nancy. Nancy. There did not appear to be anyone on the third floor. Anyone. Anyone. Suddenly, the elderly man became aware of a car mortar. Mortar. Oh. How about you girls going out to pledge and hedges? <laughs> we haven't opened the secret compartment yet. I can't talk. The remark brought Nancy back to reality. Reality. Isn't anybody going to eat supper? I'll be stone cold pretty soon. I mean, it'll be stone cold. <laughs> no one but herself could testify that he had stolen Fip, March, Fip, Fip March's 